Is your Mavic Mini orientation display just not functioning properly? In other words, wrong? Or maybe you don't even know what it really is. So there's quite a few videos out there covering this subject, so I'll just make it quick. The orientation display shows where the Mavic Mini is in relation to your position. It also helps you to aim the antennas towards the Mavic Mini and shows you the direction of the Mavic Mini, although the direction of the Mavic Mini is better handled by the map widget. The accuracy of the display widget depends on the reliability of the compass within the cell phone. And when I first tried it out, it was actually red like this. If it's red like this, that means the GPS on your phone isn't on. So just turn the location on on your phone. If the display is actually functioning, but not functioning right, then you have the other problem of not having a calibrated compass on your phone. This isn't the compass on the drone, but the compass on your phone. If you have both of those things set up, then chances are it will work. But there is still another reason that the display might not work, and that's magnetic interference. Let's take a look at that next. This is Dave from MeRC. So magnetic interference can definitely be affecting the compass on your cell phone. And this can be from something around you, such as on your body or in close proximity, or it can be the controller itself as seen here while I put a mechanical compass around the controller and look at the effects from the different areas on the controller. If I hold my cell phone near the controller, you can see that there's magnetic interference from something that is affecting the compass. There are several things that can cause magnetic interference in the controller, but most of them are negligible. The biggest one is the speaker, which has a magnet built into it. This speaker is on the lower right on the controller. This does not affect all cell phones because some cell phones have their compass in a different location. My LG V20, for example, is very affected by the magnet in the speaker. Your cell phone may vary. One possible solution as shown here is you can use a longer cable and mount your cell phone 180 degrees from the usual position and back about an inch and a half. You could also use some kind of mount to move your cell phone away from the controller. Another possible solution is to disassemble the controller and remove the speaker altogether. This would get rid of the sound though, which may be a good thing. If you want to keep the sound, it may be possible to replace the magnetic speaker with a piezoelectric speaker that does not have a magnet. Although I don't know if anyone has tried this, I haven't. You can also try calibrating your cell phone's compass while it is in the holder in the position it would be during flight although this doesn't seem to work for everybody. Eventually, I may purchase the longer cable and either put my cell phone in the mount or just clamp it back a little bit from the controller. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, or comments, please leave them under the video. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This is Dave, signing out.